Cristiano Ronaldo has made some of the best and most iconic football skills of all time. I'm going to show you the top five Cristiano Ronaldo football skills of all time. Now, let's get on with the video. Okay, so before this video starts, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment down below Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. Whoever has the more comments is the better player. Now, let's get on with the video. Okay, so for number one is the most iconic one of Cristiano Ronaldo is the step overs. The step overs have been around for a very long time and they were made really popular by Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, I will show you how to do it, but only a little bit. If you want to know how to really do it and how to actually go more in depth and how to do other kind of step overs, I advise you to watch the video I made on how to do step overs. I will link it down in the description and let's get on with the video. Okay, so right here we have a ball and this is how you're going to do a step over. Okay, so first you're going to take your right foot and go over the ball or left it doesn't matter but most importantly is probably the most important one is as you go over the ball make sure your body is fainting in that way so you're doing a body faint in the direction you put your foot around the ball and then use your other opposite foot and push the ball out and you can go run around the defender that is how you do a step over in a quick way but again if you want to know more in depth of how to do a step over go watch the video i have created or i don't know if i should say created but i posted the video i posted on how to do a step over it shows you how to do three kinds of step overs and it shows you how to really do it okay so that is number one okay for this next one is the cr7 chop it's a very iconic one of him. I think it's not as it's not as iconic as a step over, but I'm sure you should know it if you watch Cristiano Ronaldo play and stuff. You should know what this is, and it is a very um, good one to use in a game. I mean, it's it's very confusing on for like the defender you're going up against or whoever you're doing it against. But um, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a short way. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of hard to show you how to do this in a angle like this but just bear with me here okay so to do the Cristiano Ronaldo chop you're gonna jump okay you're gonna while you're dribbling okay you're gonna jump and when you're jumping you're gonna just flick and kick the ball behind your leg okay as you're gonna jump or it could be like at an angle I don't know but um, you could do a jump and kick the ball back as you're doing that because you know it's a chop and it's, if you do it fast enough, if you master it, if you're really good at it, then you will definitely know how to do it and you really know how to get past defenders like that. But if you want a video on how to do a Cristiano Ronaldo chop, um, I'm not amazing at it, but I could still do it. But if you want a video on how to do a Cristiano Ronaldo chop, leave a like on this video and subscribe, and I will definitely do it if I have the time to, which I definitely have because I have nothing to do. But, um, yeah, so you're just going to flick it back as you jump, and I'm going to show you in a little clip right now. All right, for our third one is the Elastigo, the Cristiano Ronaldo Elastigo. It is a very good one to get around defenders. I actually haven't tried it yet. Um, for in a game because you know my soccer season's over but um yes there it's a really good thing to use and it is very swifty and good and i will show you how to do it okay so this is a little easier to teach you at this angle so what you're gonna do is use the outside of your foot to start to kick it outward okay and as you're doing that go ahead and add a body faint to it if you can so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick it outward okay it's not gonna work there um, let's see you're gonna kick it outward and then you're gonna wrap back around and kick it forward in that angle so it'll basically be like a sharp way if you really practice this a lot and learn it enough you will be definitely really good at it I'm, I'm not that good at it because I haven't really practiced this I just like do it whenever like if I'm just running with a ball I just randomly do it and it's like the best thing ever but would I actually try to do it it's it's not good so you're gonna do this you're gonna go like that and back okay so a good way to learn how to do this is go touch touch okay 
but this is at a hill, so it's gonna go down. So you're just gonna touch, touch, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just gonna touch here on the ball and then touch here, okay? So just go like touch, touch, like you're dribbling a little bit. But there's a hole there, so it's all, it's all just going that way. So touch, touch, touch. Just so you can get into the movement of it, but I advise you to add like a body fit with it like that. See, just like that, I'm sure you saw that. But you just like go like that, and that's how you do it. Okay, so for this next one, I actually didn't know it existed. It is the double chop, okay? So I just saw a couple clips of him doing this, and I was like, that's, that's a pretty good one. So this is a pretty good one to use in a game. I would actually recommend this one. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, and I like just now did it and was like toying around and stuff. So hopefully I know enough about soccer to teach you about that, but um, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Okay, so if you couldn't already tell, after each one, we're gonna do like a mini tutorial thing. So pop up on screen like mini tutorial with like a little sound or something. But um, yeah, so this is how you do the double chop. It is just like the normal Cristiano Ronaldo chop. You hop and you know, kick it back. But um, this one, you're going to, let's move the ball over here. So you're going to do that and then chop it behind your foot, okay? This one's a little easier to show you, but you know, I'm gonna show you again. You're gonna do that and then chop it behind your foot, okay? Oh, okay, the ball's gone. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. And I'm gonna show you like a little clip like I always do. Okay, so for our last one, sadly, okay, is our last one, is the drag and step over, okay? It's actually another one that I didn't know existed, but it's pretty easy once you really get with it and you know, after like maybe 15 tries and stuff, you'll really get with it, but like you'll lose that skill in like two days. But um, yeah, it's the drag and step over. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hopefully I know how to do it and stuff. But um, I think I know, it's pretty easy. Like I'm telling you, it's pretty easy. But um, I don't know if I should wear a Christmas hat and like, cause like it's, it's almost December. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's almost Christmas time. And I don't know if I should wear like a Christmas hat or something in the next video, but I don't know, we'll see, okay? But um, let's get on with the mini tutorial. Okay, so for the drag and step over, I'm gonna try to do my best to teach you this because I really need to get a wireless mic. That's probably the next thing I'm gonna buy, but they're like $16. So um, I'm just gonna stick with this for now. But, okay, so the drag in one, you're just gonna drag it. Just wait for that. Oh, it's a fire truck, sorry, I thought it was a truck. But um, you're gonna drag it, step over it, and let it keep going, okay? It's really good if you do it fast, but I can't do it fast, otherwise it'll just zoom that way and I won't be able to get it. But you'll see it in the little clip right now. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really hope this video did help you and you did enjoy it. If you did and this did help you, consider leaving a like and subscribing on this video. And don't forget to comment down below, Christian Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. Whoever has the most comments is the better player. So um, yeah, hopefully this helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so if you stayed longer in this video, um, thank you very much. But only the real fans get to stay this long. But I want to tell you why I wasn't, I haven't recorded for over 11 days. So like basically over a week. It's because I was really sick and I was coughing and sneezing, you know, just like really, I think I just had a really bad cold and everything like that. But I was really sick and well, I'm, I'm okay now. Like I'm not sick anymore, but I was sick in the past. And I just had to let my body, you know, just rest a little bit. And I didn't want to come out in the field, kick a ball around because I was just like, I was just like coughing a lot and stuff. So I think I also had a fever too. So it wasn't the best time for me. So yeah, um, I'm going to get back to making videos. Hopefully I don't get sick anytime again soon. And um, thank you for staying this past and this far into the video. <laughs> But yeah, I just got sick and I couldn't make a video. And then I, we also had Thanksgiving and stuff, so I couldn't really do that. But, or I, I did go to Thanksgiving, but I couldn't make any videos there because it was Thanksgiving. So um, yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.